Johannes. Thank you for exploring a five minute session with me. Um, these questions, what I'm going to do in order to answer them in five minutes is I'm gonna take the frequency of the questions themselves. I'm gonna merge all those frequencies together and then we'll see what comes through, okay? All right, I'm gonna reread the questions and I'm gonna get started. Okay, what is your perception about who I am? What is my true soul's name? What soul parts do I have in this human life? What is your perception about the div my divine purpose and gifts? Uh, finally, who am I connected with most? And what message do they have for you to give to me? Okay. Hmm. Give me just a moment just to really absorb this in here. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for this? All right. Okay, so... I will say the first thing I experienced a lot of energy kind of falling upon my shoulders, a lot of energy around my face, and I'm actually kind of at the edge of the universe, so to speak, but it's like being on a cliffside and overlooking the universe. And in the universe, there's all these beautiful northern lights and stars. And it's so strange because it's not like I'm on a planet, but I couldn't not be on a planet to sit on this cliffside in the universe is so beautiful okay everything is dark i mean the cliffside is black rock and it blends in with the universe and the stars and northern lights are gorgeous okay let's see what comes next okay so now the experience of waiting i'm just waiting and i'm waiting and waiting and it's interesting because as beautiful as this image is it also creates a self-imprisonment because there isn't change taking place. So we're captivated, but how long can you be captivated by the same thing? And so sitting on this beautiful cliff side overlooking the universe is great, but nothing is happening. There's no nothing new happening. So I feel a bit imprisoned. All right, the idea is that I would take a, a net, like a fisherman's net, and cast it out into the universe and take all the stars and the northern lights and pull them close to me so that I could have them close to me, almost like people in a way. <laughs> the northern lights and the stars say no. No matter how many times you cast your net, we will not come closer to you. And what they're really saying is that you don't have to take um, from the universe in order for you to feel the closeness of it because it already exists within you. So you don't have to cast the net to get it. Um, you just have to find it already within yourself. And this is, uh, this is important, but I see that you understand this message right away and you start to dive now into your own heart in order to um, break free from your own imprisonment. It's, it's so, so strange because the scene is so beautiful, but I can feel how dead it is after you've been looking at it for eternity with nothing new happening and waiting and waiting and waiting and now diving within yourself and discovering so much more. I mean, access to infinite numbers of experiences. Okay, here's the next next thing. This is hard and it feels very sad to me because it's almost like you dived into your heart and then you got stuck. Um, so you weren't able to get all the way in there or um, you're kind of half um, in your heart and half not. So you're still imprisoned and still <clears throat> half, half in an infinite space within your heart and half in an imprisoned space. And so your spirit guide says, how are we going to resolve this? Um, what are we going to do to resolve this? And you're not one to, and you don't need your spirit guide, so to speak, to tell you what to do. Um, you hear your spirit guide say, what do we need to do to resolve this? And already you're starting to solve the problem. This is 
pretty cool thing about you. Because you delight in the challenge of solving problems. So there was really no problems to solve. You cast the net and you discovered this message. Then you received the message. You made the choice to go into your heart. You got stuck in between worlds. And now you're receiving this message, what do we do? And you're not saying, well, I need you to do it for me or um, I need you to tell me what to do. You actually take the you know, bull by the horns and you say, okay, next thing. I'm starting to work my way out of imprisonment by solving my own problems and not relying on anybody else. And the funny thing is, when you solve problems, that's the true magic. That's the true cliffside and the stars and the northern lights. That's the true magic. That's really cool. Hmm. So in saying this, um, <laughs> these are all very delightful messages. So for me to find delightful messages like this within you, um, that says a lot about you. Um, if I were to go into your energy field within five minutes and I'm finding all kinds of um, I mean, I can feel groggy energy, I could feel uh, disappointment, I could feel all kinds of things. But this is actually quite refreshing for me. Um, it's, uh, it's exciting, it's adventurous, um, it's wise, it's deep, um, it's self-sufficient, um, and it's yet still human, you know? So there's the answer to your five questions. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this, Johannes, and... Uh, if you ever want to connect again in the future, I'd be delighted. Have a great day.